my God. The play, the play, the play. of the day. Runner left side, got it! I'm going to play it and play it. This is the play of the day. Check this out. The one-strike pitch. And Alvarez cranks it deep to right field. Bellinger is back, looking up. See you later! A two-run home run for Jordan Alvarez to give the Astros a three-to-nothing lead. Courtesy of KBME, the Astros radio network, 52,692 on hand, the largest to see a Major League Baseball game this season. That is your play of the day. The Dodgers mustered just five hits against the Astros. Play of the day brought to you by Mercedes-Benz fans. They go far beyond from their customization options, cutting-edge tech, Five-star sales service, financial support crew, Mercedes-Benz vans, built, equipped, engineered to be ready for anything. Go the extra mile, taking the all-important first step into an authorized dealership today. There's a reason why there were 52,000 on hand, because the Astros were in town, and fans got a chance to come out, and they got a chance to yell at the Astros, and this is what it sounded like. That would be Cheater. Cheater. <laughs> this is the starting lineup announcement. <laughs> oh, El Tuve, the poster child. Trash can. You know, the thing is, is how many players are still left from those Astros teams? You get, you got Altuve, Carlos Correa. Do you have uh, maybe a pitcher or two, Bregman? But at what point do you move on? Or if you're a Dodger fan, you never move on. It doesn't matter who's on the Astros team. When they come to town, they're getting booed. But Altuve, yeah, I understand it. Well, go ahead. Get it out of your system. You've been waiting for it. You had to wait even longer because of the pandemic. Yes, Paul. But Altuve's the face. He's the recognizable one. Mm-hmm. He's the superstar who benefited the most in every way from the cheating. I know. I, I'm not saying but it's right or wrong. After a while, like you, okay, you had your chance. You know, you're able to get out your frustration. <laughs> you're angry, and all right. Like at what point do you just say, you know what, we move on? Can you move on? I mean, the Dodgers won the World Series last year. Like, that that's the, uh, hey, all right, we got ours. We did it the right way, whatever you want to say. But I don't know. It just feels like at some point, it, you know, is it diminishing returns? Yes, McLovin. I mean, the thing is, the entire league got robbed of last year's opportunity to really get them. Like, that's yeah. why it's like kind of a delayed sort of... Oh, I'm I'm okay yeah. if you want to do it this year. Last year should have been a celebration of hating the Astros across all tw- <laughs> 29 parks. Interesting. That that sounds like a baseball promotion. Celebrate hating the Astros this year at a ballpark near you. Yeah, Paul. But this one's so easy. It's so focused. All you have to do, there's a prop involved. It's like a Gallagher concert. All you got to do is bring a, a, a trash can and a hammer or something like that or one of the blow up trash cans. It's fun. Everyone's into it. You say, hey, kids, get on Amazon and order those blow up trash cans. We're going to the Dodger game. Yes, Todd. If you're a Little League organization that's recently banned the name Astros, does that slowly come back? Does that ever come back? Was it just a couple of years? What do you do for that? Have they done that? There there were some uh, counties around the country where they just, they didn't use the name Astros anymore for at least a brief period of time. I'm going to guess in Los Angeles, you don't want to be on a, a Little League team known as the Astros. Probably not. No, probably not there. 